Hello Biscuits! It's Cupcake Coming Summer here and I have another unboxing. Yes, this parcel looks like shit because I have just spent something like 10 minutes trying to get all the bloody tape off it. So, apologies for terrible lighting, apologies for today's look. I'm actually just about to go on a short holiday and if I don't film it now, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like two weeks before I get around to it, and I really wanna, and I really want to open this thing up. It's been in my bedroom for a good few days now. What's inside here is one Taobao pre-order. Please don't ask me what the name of the shop was, because you know what it's like with Taobao shops. And um, one bit from Fan Plus Friend. So. In here there's supposed to be one skirt, one petticoat with a hoop, and, and some hair things. Oh. Ooh, I can see the actual skirt already up. If any of you follow Taobao pre-orders, this is the book print because there's no way I'm ever going to fit in the Jane Marple stuff I like and I'm not quite that fond of the Innocent World Strakhoff's library so I thought this will be nice I got it as a skirt so that I could potentially wear it even to work and I, well, I thought I ordered um, a barrette hair clip but my shopping service took a photo of it and what I got is a brooch and um, a shoe shoe hairband So let's start with that one, seeing as that was the main thing. In here, we've got the bow brooch and the shoe shoe in tons and tons of plastic. The shoe shoe is quite tiny, but it stretches fairly well. The material on it is the same as on the skirt. Which feels alright, it's it's a typical polyester. I'm not sure if I'll use it. But I probably will. I can't complain. And then the bow brooch. It's really quite cute. You could easily slide in an alligator pin in there and Bam, you got yourself a hair clip. So again, I don't want to complain. I probably should have because it's not what I ordered, but I wanted to already have it. And in all fairness, if I didn't end up having a two-way pin, it could be there. Could be on my beret, it could probably go on a skirt if it doesn't have one. And what I like is this brooch is sewn on rather than glued on points for this, that's feels sturdy and it has a lovely shape to it. So again, I'm quite happy. And then once we battle another gazillion yards of plastic in a fairly smooth plastic bag with a ziplock is the skirt. Song and Temple, that's what the Taobao brand is called. The back of it has care instructions and quite as, you know, explained in a simple way, so I like that. And here comes the skirt. So it's an all-over book print. I believe this skirt's meant to be high-waisted. There's an invisible zip on the side. Let's see how smooth is it. It's not particularly long. 
but it glides on rather smoothly and there's a hook and eye inside if you want it. And the back has a little bit of sharing topped with corset lacing and they've used a decent ribbon for the lacing. It shouldn't be fraying, it's quite long. One bra of buttons right there. Do we get a spare button anywhere? No, I don't think so. So essentially, don't lose the buttons because they are quite cute. Although, with the style, if you had a similar pair, it would work. The skirt is fully lined, and again, this is quite likely polyester. So two layers of polyester. This top one is ever so slightly sheer. And the rest just comes down to this quite lovely print. Now, I'm personally, I'm not a fan of the anime manga style of drawings. So the fact that all characters' pictures on there are drawn in that style is a slight turn off for me personally. But I mean, said this, you really have to start looking at the print and into it to notice it. And then we have an entire array of books. Most of it, most of them are fairy tales, and I believe um, the name of the print had fairy tale in them. So you've got the Snow Queen, The Little Mermaid, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, The Nightingale and the Rose, that's one I don't know, Little Red Riding Hood, The Ugly Duckling, The Three Little Pigs, and the books are repeating themselves on various shelves. And all in all, this is a very cute skirt, I look forward to wearing it. And I look forward to wearing it more casually, I've been wanting to get a few more cash pieces. This might be one of them. Oh, nearly forgot. I was just about to close the video and then re remembered, oh hang on, you got stuff from Uncle's friend. Immediately, you can tell that they packed it in this very lovely Uncle's friend bag. I love the roses at the top. Now, reading various reviews, I know that they do these drawstring bags quite often. Might not be a colour that I could easily incorporate, but I, I like it. It's a nice touch. Comes in this, this comes in printed bag as well. And I can feel the heat through it. What I ordered, well, what this is, is, I believe it's called Romantico Balletto. Romantico Balletto, <laughs> which is a petticoat, but the hoop inside is removable, so you can either wear it, wear it as a tiny thing, <laughs> or as this monstrosity, I think it's inside out. some serious proof there. If you were to wear it on its own or on top of the skirt, you've got these lovely, lovely, lovely flowers scattered across. There's another layer on top and it has all of these drawstrings. Gosh, this is awkward camera. I believe you could just... Yeah, scrunch it up and have them be more visible and then the layer underneath <laughs> is this hoop now beats me how you would remove it aha there's a gap right there so I assume you turn it until you find <laughs> the bits that aren't together I don't know how to do that and then we have this giant, giant thing. It is what I wanted. I did want a hoop skirt, and this one's fairly elastic as well, so it shouldn't be too awkward to sit on. How the 
prig am I going to store it? Beats me. Absolutely no idea. But I'll figure something out. I look forward to trying on that hoop skirt. I look forward to trying it out with this skirt that I got. I think that's going to be quite an interesting experience. And I look forward to just wearing the skirt. Which is what um, I initially wanted to get. This, this is what started the whole order. Having said this, having said this, thank you very much for staying with me up until the end of this video. I hope um, you found it useful and that you found it interesting. Please, as usual, um, I'd like to ask you to like this video, comment on it, subscribe to my channel. It's an absolute confidence boost and just a boost in motivation to do things like that when I see that people are responding to them. Also, as usual, I'm encouraging everyone to check out my blog, Cupcakes and Unicorns, where you'll find more Lolita related content. And until next time, take care. Bye!